Hey first graders, it's Miss Redburn. I am back with some more Scaredy Squirrel books. I got an email from Isla in 10C saying that she was hoping for some more Scaredy Squirrel and I actually have a trio for you today. In case you do not know what a trio is, trio means three. And kind of like a triangle that has three sides. And so I'm going to read each of these to you guys, and you can choose to read the ones that you're really interested in. Dirty Squirrel Makes a Friend. And as you know, these books always start with a warning. All right, you ready? Warning. Scaredy Squirrel insists that everyone brush their teeth with germ-fighting toothpaste before reading this book. Well, that's perfect. I just brushed my teeth. If you haven't brushed your teeth yet, pause this, go brush your teeth, and come right back. It's a warning from Scaredy Squirrel. We've got to follow it. And this book is dedicated to the author's dentist. Okay. Scaredy Squirrel doesn't have a friend. He'd rather be alone than risk encountering someone dangerous. A squirrel could get bitten. A few individuals that Scaredy Squirrel is afraid to be bitten by. Walruses, bunnies, beavers, piranhas, Godzilla. Which one might you be most scared to be bitten by? I've never really encountered most of them. I've seen a beaver. So, Scaredy Squirrel finds interesting ways to pass the time all by himself. Oh, how lonely must he be? Let's see what he does. He reads, he whistles, he crafts, he yawns, he knits, he chats, he counts. I do a lot of those things when I'm by myself, too. I think my favorite is reading. Until one day, he spots. Someone perfectly safe. Goldfish. The perfect friend, according to Scaredy Squirrel. Bubbly personality. Squeaky clean. Quiet. No teeth. Germ free. Doesn't do much, but is 100% safe. Now this is what makes the perfect friend for Scaredy Squirrel. After I finish this book, I want to see you try and design your perfect friend. What would be the perfect friend for you? You can draw a picture. You can write all the details, just like Scaredy Squirrel did. A few items Scaredy Squirrel needs to make the perfect friend. Lemon, name tag, mittens, comb, mirror, air freshener, toothbrush, and chew toy. How to make the perfect first impression. Tame bad hair. Okay. Fix my hair. Prepare freshly squeezed lemonade. Ooh, that sounds like a great idea. Brush teeth thoroughly and practice smile. Check for nutty breath and food caught between teeth. Do I have anything? Wear mittens to hide sweaty paws. Make sure name tag is visible. Use pine scent to smell delightful. And then follow the perfect plan. The perfect plan. Step one, toss down chew toy to distract biters. Step two, use mirror to check hair and teeth. Step three, run to fountain. Step four, point to name tag and smile. Step five, offer lemonade. Step six, make the perfect friend. Goldfish is here. Stay away from piranha-infested ponds. Don't talk to suspicious bunnies. Beware of walruses. They're fast on their flippers. Avoid beavers. They could snap at any moment. Watch out for Godzilla for obvious reasons. And like we noticed in some other Scaredy Squirrel books, there's a legend in his map. But let's say, just for example, that Scaredy Squirrel did come face to face with a potential biter. He knows exactly what not to do. Do not show fear. Do not show your fingers. Do not make eye contact. 
do not make any loud noises. If all else fails, play dead. And hand over the test. Scaredy's risk test. Number one, who are you? Number two, how many teeth do you have? <laughs> Number three, what's your hobby? Biting or other? Hobby means things you like to do for fun. What do you see? When you see this little squirrel, do you see friend or something to bite? <laughs> that will give him a lot of information about whether or not that person would be a biter or not. With every detail under control, Scaredy Squirrel puts the plan into action. First, he tosses the chew toy. Then, he heads down the tree. Everything is perfect until he hears a strange sound coming from behind. Squeak! And he realizes... Objects in mirror are closer than they appear. It's a dog! This was not part of the plan! The dog chases Scaredy around the bush, around the fountain, and around in circles until Scaredy Squirrel... Play is dead. 30 minutes later. Oh, that looks like he's got the quiz. One hour later. Two hours later, look what's happened with his test. After all this time, Scaredy Squirrel realizes that the dog doesn't want to bite him. He just wants a friend. Scaredy Squirrel points to his name tag and smiles. Then he starts chasing his new buddy. They play fetch, they play hide and seek, and they play dead. Scary Squirrel forgets all about the goldfish, not to mention the walruses, bunnies, beavers, piranhas, and Godzilla. Time flies when you're having fun. All this excitement inspires Scaredy Squirrel to make a few minor changes to his idea of a friend. My almost perfect friend, according to Scaredy Squirrel. Muddy paws. Wet dog smell, tooth, loud bark, drool. 83% safe, but lots of fun. Does have germs. P.S. As for the wet dog smell, it's been taken care of. Pine scent. There's Buddy and Squirrel. Hope you enjoyed.